My name's Paul Moore, I'm the Community Development Worker at Chickenley Community Centre uh, and you're in the Chickenley Community Garden down at the centre. We just started with literally a couple of raised beds and this was all grassed, all this area. And then we applied for an Awards for All grant to get some funding. We got involved with the Plant It, Grow It, Eat It project two, three years ago and they came in at a really crucial time where although we got some initial funding we were struggling for volunteers and to build up the garden club and they came in and helped us do that and also provided some additional financial support. We've got onions, potatoes, carrots, courgettes, strawberries, we've got polytunnel full of tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, chilies, beans, peas, you know we've got quite a, quite a good selection. We've had a slight problem this year where we've been short of capacity because we've got three volunteers that had come in through the Plant It, Grow It project who then gone on to get jobs which was you know, a good success but it's left us a little bit short on volunteers. We work with the kids on a weekly basis. We're building a chicken coop and a pen with the children. They're all going to get their own chickens, they're going to pick them and they're going to name them. Hopefully we're going to get between six and eight to start with. The nursery are going to get involved, they're going to come and help look after it by collecting the eggs. We've got a couple of volunteers who will come and keep an eye on them at weekends. We're also looking at getting potentially a goat to help keep some of the grass down. We're putting some beehives up on the roof and we're going to develop around the border of this field here to create a foraging area with fruit, nuts and a range of fruit bushes. When we first started, kids kind of think that everything comes in a clean sealed plastic bag from Asda. We've done a lot of cook and eat sessions, getting them used to eating fresh, healthy food. It's been a challenge. We had uh, two parents in one week and one of the parents said, my daughter doesn't eat vegetables like it was a, a badge of honour or something. So we've started in terms of you know, introducing fresh food as, as a regular part of the, the diet. I mean, it's only at a micro level in terms of we were only working with a dozen kids. But if you can replicate that you know, across the site, I mean, what it, what it has done is it sparked a lot of interest within the school and the nursery. One thing that they do have in Chickenley is they've all got very big gardens. Um, so there's so much scope and capacity for people to do it at home. But we're hoping slowly by working with the school, the nursery, the sure start, that they can just spark that kind of interest.